Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of yours guys solar systems. So today we've got one system to do from the user Mars the Planet in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending this system in for us to uh, check out today and yeah this I think this is uh, episode 148 or 147 now. So getting close to that 150 mark, which is uh, pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, without further ado, we're just going to hop straight into this. So I've already got it uh, searched up here. So it's called the uh, the Kaku system, as I believe is how you say it. Apologies if I am scrapping the pronunciation of anything in here. But yeah, that's usually how I do things. <laughs> right, let's see what he has uh, prepared for us anyway. Right, uh, Kaku system. Hello, Neptune guy. If you're looking at this, I hope you uh, like my new customized system. It's binary and currently being studied by humans. Thanks for reading it and enjoy. Right, let's see what we have got here. So we'll uh, start off in the middle like we normally do. Right, okay. So yeah, this is from Mars the Planet again. So I must say thank you to him. There's also a planet that's supposed to have rings, but they had to be removed for the file. So we'll have to add those in manually. Right, anyways, onto the star itself. Here is a uh, Kaku over here. It's got a yellow sort of colour trail to it by the looks of it. Yeah, yellow uh, name there. Right, and it pretty much yeah, red reddish orange dwarf sort of uh, sized um, object right there. The, yeah, I'd say probably more of an orangey than the red dwarf um, roughly. But yeah, moving on to the planets now. Right, so this is where we are spawned in anyway. So first planet here. So there we go. I'm not going to even bother trying to say it because I know I'm just going to scrap it. Right, and the second uh, object here is a moon. Look at that. Right. Blue atmosphere on it. We can see it's got some uh, ice pockets on it too, which looks pretty cool. So there is the moon. Right. So Yulia Nax, I think is how you want to say that. Right. Uh, now we have Pan Giver over here. This one is a uh, frozen world as well. It's got some clouds on it too. So there it is. Alrighty, let's have a look underneath those clouds, actually. So it's, uh, where, where are we? Uh, atmosphere clouds. So there it is underneath. So a very frozen, icy world right there. It's got some mix of nicer brownish areas mixed in there as well. So there we go. With the clouds all back on. Right, pan giver. Right, now we're hopping to the next one. All right, let's put labels on. Now there's a now I found out there's a custom you can customize what you have in your hot bar here. So basically, I've added all the good stuff. So we've got trails, orbits, labels. We've got the Hathor zone mode, edit mode, chart mode. I put back into the um, thing as well, background, and then we have I've added lasers as well. So you, it's really simple. All you need to do is just click on the simulation or the view. Or, or like this, and you literally just drag them down like that and let go. Because I've already got chart, I've already done it. But say surface. All I need to do is put surface lock in there, and there you go. That's all I need to do, which is really, really cool. So I didn't know about that, but yeah, I can sort of make it back like the old um, hot bar we used to have. So yeah, there we are. But yeah, enough of me uh, talking about that. Let's move on. So we've got um, Event 2 over here. So another rocky planet. I like the color scheme on it, actually. The orange with like the, the bluish sort of shades on it. I like that. I think that looks quite cool, actually. Um... Yeah, there are the colours. So, yeah, orange and a blue in the uh, low elevation. So, there we go. A uh, human uh, spacecraft currently studying Aventu right over here. So, there we go. Pretty cool view of the uh, planet there as well. If we turn off orbits and labels, close the menu, get a cool view of a uh, planet. The other star down there as well. Looking good. Right, uh, put orbits and labels back on. Alrighty, now. So, we're taking a big jump to human mothership over here so let's see what we've got over here ah it's this thing is this the arrival spacecraft i think it was called so yeah human mothership right so that's chilling out in the or edge of the system and then uh we have got one more star over here to check out also so there is a, a port arc over here and then it's got one moon or what i say moon one planet as well featuring a nicer red to blue uh, shaded object with a nice bit of purple um, in the middle with the uh, color blending so yeah very very nice um indeed there and yeah so this i believe is this the one no no okay this isn't the one that was supposed to have rings okay there's one that's supposed to have rings okay right let's see here okay, apparently um apparently these temperatures are yeah he says ignore the temperatures of the planet so yeah take no notice of those apparently there's a, there was a glitch when he was making it or something so i was just reading what he said on, on discord there so yeah this one very nice indeed. Nice colour blending. We'll get a full look of it in the menu there. But yeah, it's literally just red and blue, but it gets a nice purple blend curated when um, when those colours are mixed together, giving us this uh, nice, it's a nice, smooth, very basic, but very nice looking indeed. Right, so then we've run Portak. Okay, and I believe that is all of them. But yeah, where's the one it's supposed to have rings? So it is Planet uh, Uranax. Okay, so where, where, okay, so this one here. So this is supposed to have Jupiter rings. So what we can do here is... Uh, we'll go to the add button over here. We'll go to rings, Jupiter. 
like so. Add them in. Okay, so that's how he intended them to be, uh, well, that's how he intended this object to appear. But yeah, apparently the file size or something was a little off, so he had to uh, remove the rings. But yeah, there's the Jupiter rings re-added. So yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully that is how we, uh, intended it to be uh, done but yeah there we go so that is the whole system done from mars the planet today so quite a, quite a short but sweet system i have to say i like the binary um two stars we've got going on here the other star uh, chilling out here nice simple but sweet design i think i like the um the spacecraft so i think they're always cool when people have the like the, the spacecraft stuff in um oh they actually ring don't remember this oh that's new to this update isn't it yeah they've got the ring this stuff now that's pretty cool but yeah, um, there is all of the objects. We'll get a full lineup now using the chart mode that I've added back to the hotbar. So here is the full lineup. Uh, make live. Oh, I didn't really have to do that, but oh well. So here is the full lineup. So if we do turn on the earth, we'll just remove the ring uh, once more. So full lineup. Uh, lighting mode. Um, how do I find this view, isn't it? Is there any way I can drag the light in into the hotbar? I'd like to have that. Uh, back in there if I could. Nah, I don't think I can. Uh, so studio mode. So there is a full lineup. Rocky planet wise, I think this one is my favorite by far compared to the other two these two are definitely more plain than this one this is definitely the most unique of the rockies I, I really like the orange and blue combined and then gas giants i mean there's only two to pick from obviously it's going to be uh, this one so yeah there are my uh, top picks um for this system but yeah again a massive thank you to mars the planet for sending uh, this simulation in and yeah that was um episode 140 seven i think it was now but yeah guys a massive thank you for watching today's video and yeah if um you liked it let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video guys and also a massive thank you again for 17,000 subscribers as yeah it's absolutely insane so yeah make sure to subscribe and help us on the journey to 18 thousand subscribers now i mean that's just insane to talk about i mean wow so yeah just huge thank you um to you all again for that and yeah if you'd like to send in your own systems make sure to join my discord server link in the description or you can let me know the name of your system on the steam workshop and i can go ahead and uh, try and find it but yeah please note the discord is the more reliable option of sending a uh, system in but yeah guys with that all said and done make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye